Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm going to be talking to you about packages and memberships. The very first thing you need to do is add packages and memberships. So we're going to go to our settings section and we're going to navigate to templates and then we're going to go to the package and membership section. So now we're in the package and membership section. You can see I've created a number of packages and I have one membership already created. Once they're created, I can sell them to a client or a patient. So I have Two of them are in use, so they've already been associated to a client or a patient. So let's go ahead and take a look on how you'd add a new package or membership. So we click the Add New button, and then you get to decide between it's a package or a membership. So let's take a look at packages. First, you put the name in here. So I have package of six, for example, as this one. The price, so what's the upfront price you're going to ask for? So maybe $500 for that package, whether there's a tax associated to this. And if you want it to expire, you would put the values in here or never expires. And how many bookings are they allowed um, for this prepaid package? And so maybe it's 10 or six or whatever value you want to put in there. And then you would just select your services, associate your services to this package and you'd save it. So that's how you'd add a new package, for example. If I want to add a membership, there are some differences. The package name is the same, except it's a billing cycle. So uh, if I want to change this billing cycle, for example, to monthly and put $100, so every month they're going to be billed for $100. And again, you have that expiry, the ability to cancel. And how many bookings are they going to be allowed for this membership? So memberships are recurring billing, and a package is a payment up front. And again, you'd select the services and whether there's a patient pays portion with that services and you'd click save. So that's how you'd had, add a package um, or a membership in the template section. Once they've, once they've been added to the template section, they now can be sold to a client or a patient. So let's go ahead and take a look at a patient profile. So we'll go into lose profile. And he's already he's already been sold some package and memberships and so we scroll to the package and membership section and he already has a package of six so if I want to click on this I can see the details of that package of six so there's the invoice that paid this package of six these are the services that are allowed so he's allowed to book a 45 minute physiotherapy treatment and a 60 minute physiotherapy treatment but if he wants to book the 60 he has to pay an additional $20 and he's already consumed one of them and this is invoice number six so you can click on invoice number six if you want to see the details of that invoice so he's, he's already consumed one of the uh, services within this package so I'll close this and you can see it says five of six bookings if I want to add a new package or membership I just click add new and so for example if I want to add a membership I would select the premium membership from our template section and then um, when it starts so if I want to say start it on the 15th of December you can start on the 15th of December the location on which this membership can be used and the payment processing so I have it set to manual if I wanted to set it to automatic I'd have to be integrated with square payment processing or Bambor, Bambor uh, payment processing and this is the service that's allowed and then I would select purchase and you can see right now, I'll just close this. You can see that's his, it's in an unpaid state. So he won't be able to um, use any of the service or use the service that's associated with this package until it's paid and after December the 15th. If they ever want to see the details of the, uh, the package or membership that they purchased, you can click on these three dots. You can either view or edit the past itself and you can print or download or email the person the details. Of that package so that's how you would sell a package um, or membership um, to a client or a patient let's now go see let's let's see how you would redeem uh, that package or membership so let's go to the calendar and Lou already has an appointment for today so we'll scroll to his appointment and it's a physiotherapy treatment so we know that physiotherapy treatment is within that one package so we're going to create that invoice and when we create that invoice, the redeem button is clickable. If it was not clickable, this service does not is not associated with a package um, or a membership. So all you need to do is click redeem. And you can see he's got five or six remaining. There is no patient uh, pays portion. And then you just click redeem. And it's that simple. So you can see that the package of six, you can see the value of it was $90. Uh, it adjusted the invoice by $90 and now there's no balance owing 
on this invoice and it's been paid off. So that's how simple it is to, you know, create a package or membership from the template section and then sell it to a patient or a client and then redeem it from an invoice. So thank you for watching and please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.